Yeah, because democracy is another one of those great words. But really, democracy, first of all, we live collectively in a democracy, which is fine. Individually, you have not lived in democracy. Your life has not been, a, a sliver of it has been in democracy. Eight hours a day you've been at work. That's a dictatorship. You don't vote at work. We want Thursday afternoons off, we voted. You're fired. Six hours a day, you're with your family, that's a tribal system. An hour and a half a day, you're on the subway. That's a failed anarchist experiment. And six hours a day, you're asleep. So you live in a democracy two and a half hours a day of your life. Half that time, you're arguing over mispronunciations with Alexa. <laughs> Waiting for your name to be called out at Starbucks. Because democracy is not in a functioning system. It's a great concept. We don't use it at work. We don't use it at school. You need a teacher, a strong leader, a teacher. You see what happens when the teacher leaves and the kids are in the playground for recess? They form their own government and it ain't a democracy. <laughs> it's law of the jungle. And suddenly warlords start to emerge, giving out orders. Trip him, he's got books. Push him, he's got glasses. Pull her hair, she's too quiet. It becomes a pack of hyenas looking for the gazelle with the braces and the inhaler. <laughs> yeah. Democracy is, first of all, founding fathers didn't come up with it. Greeks invented it. They just rode the wave. And they were in the right place at the right time. Now they're on the right side of history, which is all anybody wants anymore to be on the right side of history. What a foolish goal. You'll never know.